we saw about up to stem i hope you all thorough up to the topic so children today we will see some new topics first we will see about the leaf and its functions leaf and its functions first we will see leaf and its parts structure of a leaf and its parts first first point side vein first first point side vein second one is main vein third one is leaf blade or lamina and last one is stalk first one is side vein vein means narambe main vein and third one is leaf blade or lamina and last one is stalk next which is the most important of your plant which is the most important part of your plant you know yes the leaf is most important part of your plant the leaf is the most important part of the plant where is the leaf present in the plant where is the leaf present in the plant in the stem part or shoot part in the stem part where is the stem the stem is grow above the ground in the stem part or shoot part what is the color of the leaf what is the color of the leaf you know yes the living plants have green color leaves the living plants have green color leaves the flat and broad part of a leaf is called the flat and the broad part of the leaf is called a yeah, leaf blade this is the leaf blade or lamina leaf blade or lamina in the middle of the leaf is in the middle of the leaf is main vein this is the main vein a number of side veins this is the side veins the number of the side veins branch out from the main vein branch out from the main vein the vein carry the vein carry water to the leaf the vein carry water to the leaf the leaf is attached to the branch by a stalk the leaf is attached to the branch by a stalk next next topic is functions of the leaf functions of the leaf students what is the functions of the leaf what is the functions of the leaf the leaf makes food the leaf makes food for the plant with the help of water with the help of water air and sunlight this process is called photosynthesis this process is called photosynthesis photo means light photo means light synthesis means putting together synthesis means putting together this is why a leaf is called a kitchen or the food factory of a plant the food made by the leaves is sent to all parts of the plant through the stem the food made by the leaves is sent to all parts of the plant through the stem in some plants such as cabbage spinach the leaves store extra food in some plants such as cabbage spinach the leaves store extra food that is why we eat the leaves of such plants that is why we eat the leaves of such plants the next topic is 
flowers. The next topic is flower. Do you like flowers? Yes, all like flowers. The flower is the most beautiful part of a plant. The flower is the most beautiful part of a plant. Do you know that most flowers grow into fruits? Do you know? Do you know that most flowers grow into fruits? That is why a farmer feels happy. Farmers feel happy when we see flowers on his mango trees. Flowers on his mango trees. He knows that these flowers will turn into fruits. The flowers turn into fruits. A young flower is known as a bud. A young flower is known as a bud. Bud means motte. Okay, ma. Next, the next topic is fruits and seeds. The next topic is fruits and seeds. Do you like fruits? Do you like fruits, children? Yes, all like fruits. All like fruits. Fruits have seeds. Fruits have seeds inside them. Some fruits have one seed. Some fruits have one seed. Some fruits have a few seeds. Some fruits have a few seeds. While others have many seeds. While others have a many seeds. For example, one seed fruit. For example, one seed fruit. Say the children, one seed fruit. I will tell mango. Blackberry, gooseberry, etc. Mango, blackberry. Blackberry means navar palam. Blackberry, gooseberry. Gooseberry means nilikai. Okay, ma? Etc. Few seed fruits. Few seed fruits. Oranges, grapes, apples, etc. Few seed fruits, oranges, grapes, etc. Many seed fruits, many seed fruits, gova. Gova means koya palam. Gova. Watermelon. Watermelon means darbusini. Next, muskmelon. Muskmelon means mulambalam, etc. Gova, watermelon, muskmelon, etc. Most plants grow from seeds. Most plants grow from seeds. Seeds are usually protected inside the fruit. Seeds are usually protected inside the fruit. Do you know what is protected inside the seed? There is a baby plant and its food inside the seed of the Mother plant. There is a baby plant and its food inside the seed of the mother plant. When the seed gets enough air, water and warmth, the baby plant starts growing. When the seed gets enough air, water and warmth, the baby plant starts growing. It grows till it is a fully grown plant. It grows till it is a fully grown plant. Ok children, I recall the lesson once again. Children, I recall the lesson once again shortly. First, the different parts of a plant are Roots, stem, leaves, flowers and fruits. The different parts of a plant are roots, stem, leaves, flowers and fruits. Second point, the root fix the plant in the soil. The root fix the plant in the soil. Third one, the stem 
supports the branches the stem supports the branches fourth one the stem carries water to the leaves the stem carries water to the leaves the stem also carries the food made by the leaves to different parts of the plant the stem also carries the food made by the leaves to different parts of the plant fifth point the flower grows into the fruit the flower grows into the fruit the fruit has seeds inside it the fruit has seeds inside it sixth point most new plants grow from seeds most new plants grow from seeds thank you children we will see in the next class thank you